Hello YouTube, this is Morgan here from Track and Tech bringing you a first mod spotlight on, this time, the Balcons Weapon Mod. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Right, uh, this is the website with everything about the Weapon Mod and it's on the Minecraft forums and yeah, that's the URL. The link will be in the description. Check it out if you want to download it. There is some um, obviously some help videos at the bottom here, so that, yeah, that, that should be helpful. And literally all the recipes for every single thing in this mod are all included in here. I'm not going to go over them too much, but uh, uh, don't. so yeah, that is uh, not this. Yeah, that is um, a javelin, and yeah, that's basically everything. Uh, all the recipes. Uh, so yeah, um, let's head back to the proper single player map that I made, especially for this mod. So um, here we are. I'm just going to pop all this stuff in here. We don't want all this, uh, you know, clutter. Okay. Um, as you can see, we've got some chests here. I'm showing all this stuff. I'll be doing this for a lot of the mods now. So let's go through the first thing. Let's pop these stuff in here. Don't need that. Um, so these are wooden spears, iron spears, stone spears, or oh, every single um, basically the spears. Oh, <laughs> let's cut to the chase, and we'll cut get a diamond spear quickly. Uh, I'm sure you guys proper effect. Uh, yeah. So let's take everything from these chests. Give each one a proper go out. So let's go over these. Um, I'll just spawn some spiders, to guys. Show you uh, the actual proper effect. So here we are. That should do. Right. So first of all, we have a diamond battle axe or a battle axe. Um, these are can be used to chop wood quite fast. Actually, I can't show in creative because obviously insta kill. So um, if you right click on these, I uh, you can block as like a normal sword, and it does a lot of knockback as you can see there, and uh, well, not too much knockback but a lot of damage. Um, so that's good. That's good. Obviously, the, the the main good pro about this weapon is gives um, you know a nice a wood cutting ability as well. So this is the spear. A spear is once you right click, it'll just shoot to the ground. You can pick it up like a normal arrow that's not been hit someone. Uh, obviously, I'm uncreative. That won't be let me do that. Obviously. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go up to this, um, this spider. If we can hit him, so you keep right clicking. Obviously, they respawn in creative, and yeah, that's a spear for you. Uh, this is the javelin. Um, the javelin is made out of a flint instead of them, and the javelin can be actually powered. So instead of the spear, which is just thrown weakly, um, the javelin can be actually powered. So if we right click here, um, it does like a like a, a sports day sort of thing. And it flies considerably more than the spear. As you can see there. Uh, they stack up to 16, not 64. And um, you can, once they hit mobs, though, they do disappear. So you can see here, they have a lot more power um, than normal spears. But uh, the only bad thing is that they can't be retrieved once they hit a mob. Uh, let's kill this guy. Bang! Insta kill. So let's move on to the next thing in that chest, and it is the battle axe. Now the battle axe is a very cool piece of kit. I'm just gonna put everything else in here. Decotterize. You now the battle axe is very very cool. Um, it basically what it does is it gives um, not a huge amount of knockback. Or I can't remember these things. Seriously. Yeah. Um, and. Um, it's a lot of damage. Oh, what happened there? That was weird. <laughs> okay. Right. Back to the uh, radio. So, um, yeah, it's basically more damage, less knockback. And if we can just show you guys here with this wolf, um, it's a very high powered weapon. Also, um, the main cool um, bonus card with this weapon, it just pops them down here. Is you can do a charge attack. So if you hold down right click, it does like a and you let go, it damages any mobs in the area, and then obviously they can be easily killed on the last kill. So that's a pretty cool thing, um, which I like. 
So that covers the first chest. Let's have a look what's in the second chest. Let's pop down here. I'm absolutely wrecking this map, seriously. So I'm going to easy out. Okay, this is the second chest. There we have a flail, a musket, and. Oh, there's a crossbow's missing. Two seconds. Here it is. And the crossbow bolts. Okay. And I think we missed a very important piece of kit. Hold on. There you go. Right. So the flail can be flinged like a fishing rod, which is much more deadly, obviously. And it literally just drags around a piece of uh, piece of diamond in this case. And it's very effective against um, you know slow moving targets or targets that are quite close up to you. That's the main thing I think. You can drag it as you can see here. And each time the mob comes in contact with the um, the, the little cool thing, it um, damages a lot. So they're good for really close range, you know, proper oop, flinging, uh, flinging out, and you can fling them in again, or you can keep on right clicking and that. Um, but yeah, it's basically the shotgun of the mod. Uh, then you have the crossbow, or the crossbow, as I like to call it. Wait, <laughs> I got that wrong. Crossbow, that's the proper word. Look that up in your dictionaries, kids. Um, it uses crossbow bolts, which are made from iron, which is a bit costly, but it is worth it in the end. So you right click this, hold right click, it clicks as you can see at the bottom there. I pointed at the screen. <laughs> I actually pointed at the actual square there to show you guys. Obviously you can't see my finger, a bit stupid. Um, yeah, you can see it's changed obviously, it's in the cocked position, uh, beg my pardon. Uh, right click and same as a normal bow, bow, but look at the damage it does, it is a lot more uh, than a normal bow. It normally takes um, quite a lot of damages, but yeah, that's two hits obviously on the mob. Does a lot more um, range as well. I'll show you another one. Um, see where this goes. That flew right down there. So it, it, it's a very long range weapon. Uh, we can we probably cop this creeper from here if we be careful. Yeah, we did. Look, it's a very long range weapon. It's uh, great at using them. Um, you know, it's basically a great machine. Uh, that is that. The dynamite is the next thing. Let's test it out on this creeper. You right click once, that um, sets the dynamite. You right click again, and uh, that makes a big bang, which took down the creeper nicely. Right click again, takes down the creeper again. Right click again. Uh, yeah, so you guys who play uh, shooters a lot, um, you'll know about cooking grenades. Not literally cooking grenades, you know what I mean. Uh, that'd be very dangerous, do not try that at home. Um, so let's put that away before I make any more damage with that. Um, let's pop down to the last chest where the really big goodies are. Pop all these in it. Right. Okay. Let's get some of these. Right. Okay, first of all we have the knife. A uh, knife is also, you can use it for a combat, uh, you know, survival. Like that. It doesn't do a lot of damage though. The best thing about this um, is literally if we go close to some mobs here, I can show you you can right click and it lobs it like something from um, Assassin's Creed and it does a really cool sound hold on I'll turn the volume up a bit it's a nice cool swishy sound uh, just me being so yeah you can just absolutely spam it on creative which is really cool Bye. and uh, yeah that is the knife for you very cool um, weapon. I think I'm running out of time here. No, I'm not too bad. I've got five minutes. Um, I'm lagging terribly as well. I can't even jump. That's the one. Uh, this is the fire rod. You you don't right click on this. This is a left click uh, weapon, and this literally sets a mob on fire, which is really funny and cool. Uh, that's them on fire. And uh, right click again. It literally, you know, you have to be near, obviously, near a mob for that to work. Uh, this is the ha halbard, or the hold on, halberd, halbard, whatever you want to call it. This is a dual um, function weapon, and you right click. Obviously, in that mode. Yeah. So as I said, this is a dual um, function weapon. Uh, by clicking that um, on that thing, it'll give. I think it's yeah, damage more, a lot of damage. And you right click, it swaps the weapon around into another position. You hit him with the end. This will give him a, a lot more. I think I don't know. It's knockback. I think um, a lot more knockback. 
Um, no wait, that's a lot more damage. Um, so you, what? Literally, you increasing damage, but um, decreasing the um, the knockback. So if you stick to that one, um, this will knock. Back. This is very effective against creepers. Knocks them back nicely. But if you switch to that one in the close range, kill them straight away. So that is the um, that. I'm not even going to name it because I can't be bothered. <coughs> And let's go on to the <coughs> blowgun. I used this on my episode 5 of the Jungle Survival. <laughs> Very nice piece of kit. You right click it, uh, you hold it, and there's a really cool sound. I do not want to look at him. And I'm going to look at this guy. You hold that down, shoots a little dart, um, which literally poisons the enemy, um, which is very effective if you don't, if you don't want to get close to them. And this is this really works nicely in the um, jungle environments. It's very nice. So uh, quickly moving on, these are the little dummies you can test on. Uh, they're literally just for you know practicing purposes. And this is the piece of resistance. Blah, 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 blah. Piece of resistance is the cannon. You pop this fella down, and uh, yes, these are these are very nice, very nice. Like, just get some cannonballs. I am running out of time. Dun, 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 dun. Right, okay, so to literally um, reload this guy, um, you right click on it with a cannonball. It does that, you'll know when it does the proper sound, and then you, you can literally then right click on the seat. Now you're in the proper viewing mode, so you turn your camera around, and obviously, that. Press space, and that will shoot a very cool. Yes, it's uh, it's a very cool piece of kit. So uh, that's it for today. I will be seeing you guys another time for the next mod spotlight. That will be on the minions mod. Um, hopefully, stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, hope you've enjoyed. Please like. That means an extra ten seconds for each like. So uh, you can hear more of me uh, rambling on. And uh, yes, thank you. Comment, subscribe, and like. Most importantly, lovely. Uh, that's Morgan signing off.